Do not go gentle into that good night. Now Old as I was young and easy under the and apple boughs about the lilting house and it happy as the grass was green. Tale. The night that the snow the blind twilight When their bones are picked clean And the clean the bones gone They shall have stars at elbow night and I walk foot. in the white giant's thigh the Where barren as boulders I may without lie. fail Do not suffer gentle the into that good night Rage, rage against the dying of the light Do not go gentle into that good night. Now Old as I was young and easy under the apple boughs about the lilting house and happy as the grass was green. Tale. The night that the snow the blind when twilight their bones are picked clean and the clean the bones gone, they shall have stars now at this elbow. Night and I walk foot. in the white giant's well, thigh, there, where barren as boulders without lie. fail. Do not suffer go gentle into that good night. That rage, rage against the dying of the light. It's very appropriate that the Dylan Thomas Centre is based here in Swansea, as it's the town of Dylan's birth and the place that inspired so much of his work. The Dylan Thomas Centre opened in 1995. It was opened by former US President Jimmy Carter, and it's a fantastic international resource for all those interested in Dylan Thomas, his life and his work. We attract visitors from all over the world, but we're also a very important resource for the local community. My own discovery of Dylan Thomas came in my early 30s, just after my mum died and my son was born. I realised it was time to learn much more about my grandfather, so I started reading the poetry, the stories, the broadcast, listening to recordings, learning about his life, reading as many biographies as possible. And the more I learnt, the more interested I became, and the more I delved into it. But I suddenly discovered that actually there was a generation, my, my generation, that didn't know Dylan Thomas and didn't know the work. And I felt very passionate that it was my responsibility to work with different people to, to ensure my grandfather's legacy continued. So it's been quite, a, it's been a journey of discovery, but, a, but also a strong desire to tell people more about my grandfather. Tim Thomas is, for many people, the voice of Wales. He captures the rhythm of Welsh life, he captures the sounds. Uh, almost in words he captures the smells and the, the daily little events that make up life in Wales at the time in which he was writing. Dylan Thomas was responsible for introducing me to the English language not in the literal sense, uh, in a more literary sense. He was my introduction to the, what the English language could be beyond a simple means of communication. Well, Dylan Thomas is important to Wales because he was one of the great Welsh writers in the English language and he added so much to the canon of English literature around the world. It's important, of course, to have a centre in Swansea, the city that he was most associated with, where he was born. That's good for Swansea and good, of course, for Wales.